Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Stetson Hatters and the Houston Cougars. Number three is, provides a real spark to his team as an upperclassman. As a senior player, he knows how to inspire his team without stealing their focus. The Cougars will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Cougars should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Secondly, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. The power forward takes the feed. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Now trying to feed the low block. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I did a great job of the ball Number fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And the ball goes out of bounds. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Trying to feed the low block. The small forward with the ball. He shoots from the elbow. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. The shooting guard takes the pass. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Burnett picks up the foul. Second team foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The small forward gets the ball. Number 21 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. The Cougars will step to the line for the first time. Terrible free throw. please this defender is resilient still applying pressure down inside gave it up Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They go into the low block, turns it over, pushes it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. And one too many dribbles and a steal. The shooting guard gets the pass. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Leans in. The lay -in. That's a 7-0 run. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. 
On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside, defense giving some room. They're going to move it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. High post screen, going to use it. Hostel is eager and excited to compete. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. He shoots from the top of the key. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> this is just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Houston have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Got a nice screen. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They work it around the perimeter. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. He shows the sweet touch. They're working around the perimeter. Three off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Pull-up jumper from way out. He gets it to fall. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Looks at the three. Makes the shot. Take another look at that play. <laughs> Number 21, pump fakes. He goes with a baby hook. I'd say great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. 
for the bucket. Perfectly executed. We get another look at it in the lane. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. He tries the three ball. He gets the shot to fall. Great anticipation defensively. There it is, Jam City. Gave it up. A little frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. That's a 7 nothing run. There's a double team waiting there. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Gave it up. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Looking for a good shot. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. For something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. In the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Great play to take that to the basket. Two, and he missed. Trying to draw the foul. Number 21 makes the finger roll. From right at the circle, it's good. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. On the run, puts it up, looking for contact. He hits the shot. Double team now, bad angle. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Dump it inside. With the fake. A whistle and a foul. Coach not happy on the sideline. First half update again. Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player. What do you think he's doing so far? He's no star of stars tonight, man. He should be the focus player because he has not only hurt himself, he's hurting his team. Another look. He 
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. On the outside. From the baseline. Way off target. That's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He does the sweet fake shot. He attempts a jump hook. Stetson are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. High post player flashing. He pump fakes. Tries for two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? On the dribble, gives it up. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. I tell you, he's got every move in the book. What an offensive player. That fadeaway is impossible to block. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. And the ball goes out of bounds. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. On the outside. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He throws it up from downtown. He's money with the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Postel comes up with it. He's got a nice shot fake. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He looks for the bomb. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Looks at a three. He gets it to go. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Jump hook from the low block. 
And in and out. Basket falls despite the contact. Work it inside, and he tries it. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. It's a fast break possibility for two. Perfectly executed. What a reaction. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Moving it around the perimeter. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Top of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's the trap. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The little lane stayed a little wider than 12 second. 12 foot lane. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Think right now, got to focus defensively. Tries one from three point land. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Nice fake. He attempts the three. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. They come with a double team to stop it. He puts up the three ball. He nails the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Shot clock is dead. Three second violation. Better watch your feet. from long range. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. At the end of the first half, the Hatters lead by nine.
It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Houston seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Our focus player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think you got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think it's teammates have to screen for him. Jumped in front to take it away. The ball goes out of bounds. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Coker handles the feed. High post screen. So effective, that screen. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. 10 seconds to get a shot off. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play, you got a chance to really win. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. There he is, strips the ball loose. There's a slam. Watch this. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Dumps it in. Oh, what a strip, Red. Got a guy right on him on the pass. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. For two, doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up, picks off the lazy pass. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped him. Great shot block right there. Had some good movement on the offensive side. Great play to take that to the basket. Wide open for the shot. Gets it to fall. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Fast break opportunity here. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Done. 
steps to the line for the first time. Misses his first shot. He makes the second. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Booker handles the pass. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He shoots from downtown. Houston is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Picked off. And the slam. There's a double team waiting there. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that spacing. Picks off the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Fakes it. The fake. And the fans are going wild. The man is off the charts, Brad. Houston are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Picked out of the air. the perimeter tries for two perfectly executed playing for the steal in the post and he didn't get it Dante tried to make the spectacular play but now he's embarrassed intercepted Transition opportunity coming up. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defense. and clean. Defense has really stepped up. They're taking over the tempo very nicely. 
Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. up for two. Houston have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. For and the ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Now the turnaround jumper. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Thanks, Erin. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. There's the trap. He tries the three. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. the pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Rejects it. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. With a deep shot from outside. Way off target. Goes up for two. Looking for a good shot. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. For two, perfectly executed. He shoots from left of the circle. He buries the shot. Look at this last play right here. Now the kick out for three. Tickles a twine. Turnaround jumper. They still don't score. For the bucket. Sinks it. 
Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Working around the arc. For two, the land. Burnett receives the ball. That's a great response by this crowd. What a response, what enthusiasm. off the lazy pass. Tickles the twine. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Good defensive stance there and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For the deuce. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Gave it up. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Quickly brings it up the floor. Tries for two. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. He nails the bucket. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He gets it to go. The Cougars are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, terrific Number shot. One, really one, impossible one, to get a piece of that, baby. Working it around the perimeter. From the baseline, he drains the bucket. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Huh? Yeah, that helps. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Easy one. The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Gave it up. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Robs him of the ball. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. 
strips the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. Gave it up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside, and here's Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Let's get back to the action. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. They work it back to the outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He throws up the shot. Rims out. Look at that spacing. Looking for a screen on top and got it. The shooting guard receives the pass. Foul charge. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Ball kicked out from the post. Gave it up. The Hatters have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? They've left him completely alone. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. And the clock stopped with a foul. Foul, and that stops the clock again. The Hatters go to the line for the first time in this game. Makes the front end of the one and one. Hits the second shot. They really need a score here to have a chance. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. 
From left of the circle, he gets it to fall. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. He makes the front end of the one and one. Sinks it. We've got a timeout here. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. He attempts the trifecta. He can't get the bucket to fall. Finger roll. They're working around the perimeter. Houston couldn't seem to get over the hump in this losing battle tonight. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.